Hey guys, this is Rob from Waxidis Music and what I've got for you today is a offer from Splice.com and Ableton.com. Basically what they've done over at Splice is they've given away a copy of Ableton Lite 10 for completely, absolutely no money whatsoever. All you've got to do is head over to Splice and register an account with them where you get free samples anyway. Um, you don't have to put any money into it. And then over from there you go over to Ableton and register the serial code and you get a free copy of Lite permanently for life. So you know, before where you want a copy of Lite, you would um, have to buy a copy of Novation Launchpad or something like that, which comes free with a copy of Lite. But uh, obviously now you don't have to. You just go over there, register an account and get a free copy. And it's good for people that are probably wanting to test out Ableton but want longer than the trial period um, to do so. It's good if they want to just check out the jamming sessions on there and they want to spend a lot of time learning that or they want to make a few tracks or they want to learn how to DJ on there as well. You know, there's those three elements that you can do. Um, with Ableton, um, whether you've got the light version or the, the full version itself. But the only limitation is eight channels, obviously. You only get eight channels, whether that's four audio or four MIDI or, or eight MIDI or eight audio, whatever. But nevertheless, there's a lot you can do. And if you watch this short video after at the end, uh, I've made a little demo of like a kind of new disco sort of uh, synthwave track. Um, just a little kind of uh, demo just to show you what you can do with, with the limits of eight tracks. Um, and you'll be quite surprised. So... Go and check the video out and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and watch the little video from here on in. So head over to Splice, head over to Ableton, get your free copy and go from there. Cheers. So the first thing to do then is go over to Splice.com and search in the products and look for Live 10 Lite. Now this is available for free for a lifetime until the 31st of December 2020. So you've got about three months to take advantage of this and download it and keep it for as long as you want it for. Um, it's an ideal opportunity to get into Ableton if you've not already tried it or you, you know, you've had a go on it but you want to go longer than the trial period that the official website offers. It's an ideal way to get to grips with Ableton both in session view and in the arrangement view and also uh, in terms of DJing with it as well. You know, you can do some good DJing stuff on it as well. So it's very versatile. Um, so it's worth grabbing. So go to splice.com, register a free account, grab the live light link, get the serial code, go to Ableton. And once you've gone to Ableton, you register it over in there with the serial code and then you open it up, you download it, open it up and then it will give you uh, the free version of Lite. Now Lite is just slightly different to the full version, obviously. Um, you only get eight channels, so you could have eight MIDI channels or eight audio channels or four of each or you know two of each and, and whatever you want to build on. But in terms of um, you know, productivity, it, it's ideal for making short demos, quick sketches, little jams, you know, small demos if you're a single songwriter, it's ideal for that. It's ideal for making like, you know, loop based disco house where we don't require as many channels as a full track would. So you could make a disco house in here or quite minimal techno. You know, there's a lot of stuff where you could do lo fi hip hop with sample based, you know, with eight channels maximum. There's not a, a lot um, you don't get. That you don't get in the full version obviously there's various things like the glue compressor and eq8 are missing from the effects rack but you can live without that and you could put your own plug in anyway you could get a third party eq and put that in there like you can see i've got all of my third party plugins anyway so um over in the instruments you've got uh you've got the drum rack which is all these you've got all the standard drum beats you've got all the classic rollins uh there in the 808s and the 909s the c78 even and then you've got all these more experimental drum kits, which are uh, you know, ideal for various electronic products. Um, okay, so you've got that. And then over in the impulse, you've got all the uh, different ones there. But in the instrument rack, you've got all these different pianos and roads and keyboards and organs. So you've got all them in there. And you've got some uh, good pads. You've got a whole selection of pads, um, which are worth having. You've got the brass stuff, you know, some brass, loads of bass sound really good stuff in there depending on whatever kind of music you produce whether you produce dubstep or drum and bass or house whatever there's something for everyone in there. loads of good pads for ambient um, and then in the simpler we've got this loads more different pads in there stuff you can use um, you know in there for your, your tracks you know whatever you want to do so basically the only downside as I say is you've got eight channels but if you make your minimal sort of music anyway um, that shouldn't be a problem and it's a great way to get to grips with Ableton. And it's a free copy for life. So you don't, usually with Lite, you get um, 
you get it free with like a Novation keyboard or something. You don't have to go down that route. Um, and you can also put in your own samples. Obviously, I've got all a load of old drum beats here myself. So let's just record a quick demo showing you what we can do with this um, within the eight channels that we're limited to. So I've selected a few sounds here from within the uh, Ableton's built-in sound bank. Um, and I've just got a little drum loop here, which is just a little straightforward house beat, which goes like that. And we're just going to record a few synths and some drum rack and uh, the bass line. And just to, you know, show you exactly what we can do and, you know, what you can actually get out of it. So first of all, I'm just going to select this bass sound called the bass floor. Now, I've put an arpeggio on this, um, but the bass sound like, goes like this. So go down the octave. It's like a proper 80s sort of bass. And all I've done is put a ubiquitous arpeggiator on from within here. Um, and left it as it is, 50% gate or 1 16th rate. And I'm just going to hit record. I'm just going to record an arpeggiated pattern. I'm going to make like a little sort of kind of new disco -y sort of synth wave sort of track. Nothing spectacular, but just to show you what can be done. Here goes. <laughs> So open that up um, and then we will put these notes in uh, as they unfold. So D minor uh, and a G minor 7 chord is what I'm going to use. So I've used the D and the B flat and the um, the, the G notes. So I'm just going to quantize those. And there's a the little bass pattern. And that's that. That's the little bass we're going to get in there. Now then, let's put in uh, some chords, and from here I've got a synth called the Synthetic String Pad, uh, and that's within the pads within here. Um, and this is just to have some chords in there, just to give it that kind of... Very 80s, kind of very Pet Shop Boys sort of sounding. So let's go from here. two chords can go in there like that and that is just D minor 7 and a G minor 7 my uh, metronome now we've got the, the patterns in and then i've got another little synth here called the suburban and this is like a sort of bell sort of ideal for 80s sort of stuff so let's just put in a, a little riff on that and let's see what we come up with there which I've just put in it's just a standard little bell thing um. I put a delay on there as well you can see in a little bit of an EQ3 let's just put on a bit of compressor just to rise it up a bit and then obviously you want to put some drums in there some more drums so I've got the 808 and I'm just going to put in the 808 hi-hat, so it goes like this. And then double click on that and then quantize those. But they're too, they're too, uh, they're too long in the decay, so I'm going to shorten the decay in them like this. Like. Make them shorter. Uh, and then double click that. Obviously you can put in, you know, some of the, the cowbells and the... All that sort of stuff. Add some claps. Extra drum notes, you know, so you can get the, the full maximum out of the 808 um, on one channel. So there's just five channels that I've used um, so far. Uh, and then obviously we need some sort of, you know, you can put a third party plugin in there as well. So I'm going to use the Tau Noise Maker. And in the Tower Noise Maker, there's a synth, like a pad synth in there called Dream of 86. Um, and it's around here somewhere. There, Dream of 86. And this is proper 80s, sort of. You put that in there and just go. something in there 
there that's kind of, you know, pretty, you know, sort of experimental with like a lead line. Like, uh, as a, an extra on top, you know, where you could put some sort of uh, kind of funky lead line in. So if you go back into synth lead within here, there's a, a funk mouth lead, which is pretty cool. Um, and this acts like some sort of, you know, voice box kind of thing. And if we put a, a delay on that, um, and then we can just ping pong it and just leave it as, as it is, but bring it down to about 30% and have a look at this. Just some sort of weird little thing. Let's just mute that uh, thing I did. Um, and then you could also have so you've got seven channels there um i'm not so sure about using that towel thing i think we've got what we need in that pad so if we had that pad playing for example you could have an higher notes on that so see what I mean? you could put those higher uh, lead line notes on the same channel like that you could add those within on different bars so you'd get away with that. So you could have a lower pad and a higher note pad as well on the same channel. Um, and then you've got, uh, you've got like, so this is one, two, this is six tracks. You could have one channel for down here for percussion. Um, and then you could have obviously one for vocals, you know. So uh, that alone, just in those eight channels, you can get a fully fledged track going, um, which wouldn't uh, take up, um, you know, which wouldn't be very difficult to do. <laughs> So you could also, don't forget, you can also use all the effects as well, which you've got in here. So you could use auto filter um, on the drums. You know, you could get a nice auto filter going on there and filter them up. And so, you know, you, you're, not lim you're not that limited. You're only limited in the amount of tracks you use. But if you're creative enough, you can get a full... Um, track out of this um, without any you know without any limits at all really so that's it um, hopefully you've taken from that and hopefully you're gonna go and get a copy of live light 10 um, for free you might as well get it it's val valid until the 31st of December 2020 don't forget to hit me up if you want personal one-to-one -one mentoring sessions if you can check the link below on waxadis.com you can see that I now offer personalized mentoring sessions um, in a variety of packages for a variety of genres so do go ahead and check those out and get in touch with me should you want um, one to one music mentoring with me in Ableton Live. So thanks very much for watching. Go ahead and grab this and register with Splice and I'll see you soon. Thank you and goodbye.